Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Red Gaming Tech video. My name is Amata and I hope you're having an amazing day. Paul, unfortunately, is a little under the weather today, so go give him your well wishes on Twitter or Discord if you prefer. But that's all I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the latest news from the tech world, primarily about Intel today. Now, obviously, we've been discussing a lot lately about AMD and Zen 4, aka Ryzen 7000, but we would be remiss if we didn't discuss the latest rumors for Raptor Lake, especially when they're so interesting. Now, the first one I want to discuss was a user benchmark result discovered by Tom Apisak on Twitter. Of course, you can find his Twitter and any or links that I used for this linked below. Now, obviously, user benchmark comes with a few caveats, so do keep those in mind as per usual. The usual pinch of salt TM is required. So even with that in mind, we do see a Raptor Lake desktop CPU with 13900K being displayed here. Now, one very important thing that I have to stress is that this is still an early sample. So obviously things can and will change before we actually see this release and available to purchase. But with that in mind, we do see 24 cores, 32 threads. Once again, we see an 8P core and 16E core config because once again, it is a hybrid design. And the clocks are maintained at 2.4 gigahertz base and a 4.6 gigahertz boost. Now this clock speed is lower compared to what we've heard previously according to our own information, according to other leaks as well. We have been hearing a 5.8 gigahertz boost for the single thread for Raptor Lake. So do keep in mind that these clock speeds are lower than what we've previously heard. Despite the fact that in this particular case, the clocks are lower than the 12900K, it does manage to be slightly faster than the 12900K. So in terms of actual results, which I know you're just jumping at the bit to hear, we see a 66% excuse me, 6 improvement in single core and a 24% improvement in multi-threaded performance, which again is pretty damn nice considering A, it's an early sample and B, those lower clock speeds. In case you're wondering, okay, what's causing that significant increase in the multi-thread performance, that would be down to those e-calls, once again, hybrid design, all that. But that's not all we have for Raptor Lake today. You know, before I kind of wrap up my thoughts and, and give you an overall sort of impression of like how Raptor Lake is looking in comparison to Zen 4, there's a second leak that I want to discuss, which is one from one Raichu. Now, I just want to say as a caveat, obviously anything that isn't straight from the mouth of the company, Pinterest, Salt, TM, you know the drill. However, one Raichu was pretty damn accurate with his older Lake performance claims, so that obviously lends his future claims for Intel stuff much more credence. Now, he has said that the 13900K, well, I'll let them speak themselves. He says, quote, 2300 ST score in Geekbench 5 is possible. Now, I'm sure you guys are going, okay, but what does that have to do with the price of cheese? Well, for some context, the 12900K did score around 2,000 points, while the 5950X sits around 1,700. So if we just take these at face value, we do see a 50% informants improvement over Older Lake and a 35% improvement over that of the 5950X. So, with all this information under our belt today, what does this actually mean? To us, overall, it is looking very promising for Raptor Lake, but obviously, again, not final samples, you know the drill, but overall, in all the recent leaks and so on, Raptor Lake is expected to be very competitive to Zen 4. We've heard a 5.7 to 5.8 gigahertz single thread, and we see a similar to Zen 4 boost speeds, but it will be more power hungry, at least again, according to what we've heard. But overall, I'm genuinely really interested to seeing what Raptor Lake actually puts up to the table in terms of you know gaming performance and workload performance, and again, the sort of results you're going to get are going to vary from application to applications. As we approach the, the reveals and the prices and all that good stuff, I think it's going to be a very interesting couple of months. Now, to be honest, I think what's going to be really interesting, because obviously we, we love to talk about the flagship, you know, the big boys, they're, they're the meaty specs, the meaty performance results. But for a lot of people, they look at the lower to mid end. And I think that Intel could genuinely put a lot of pressure on AMD with the Raptor Lakes at lower end of processors. But obviously, Obviously, again, we will have to wait and see. But overall, Raptor Lake is looking very, very promising. But as always, things can and will change as we go forward to final silicon. But we're going to finish up today's video with some news for Meteor Lake. 
Now also it's just a quick update for Meteor Lake, but there's definitely a couple of interesting things I want to highlight here. But obviously, given that Raptor Lake isn't even out yet, obviously we can't, we're not going to exactly expect all the full specs or whatever of Meteor Lake have le leaked. That's obviously not going to happen. However, what we do have is a tweet from MMO US who has spotted Meteor Lake, which is abbreviated here to MTL-S, on the Intel Management Engine software. Now obviously we already know that Meteor Lake is going to be based on a new process node, the Intel 4 process node, so thankfully no more memes of staying on the same process node for years. <clears throat> <laughs> but in all seriousness, so far the rumours have been saying that Meteor Lake S will be launching no sooner than 2024, in terms of the desktop, whereas other people have stated that there is no desktop Meteor Lake at all. But we've heard from our sources that Meteor Lake is indeed coming to desktop, but in terms of the mobile SKUs, both Meteor Lake and Arrow Lake did announce it. We'll discuss those at Hot Chips 34 in August, and we are expecting the mobile platform to launch in 2023. So a bit of a TLDR. At least according to what we know, 2023 for mobile, some leakers have said 2024 for desktop, whereas some have said that it doesn't exist, whereas our sources have said that it is coming to desktop, but obviously with something this early, it is still all very up in the air, but with the competition heating up between AMD and Intel, I think it's definitely going to be a really interesting time. For sure. I am curious though guys, which one are you thinking of going with, Raptor Lake or Zen 4? Now obviously we don't know the prices or anything for them yet, which obviously is an important uh, consideration for this, but I think where Raptor Lake is, may indeed have an advantage is of course that DDR4 support, given that DDR5 memory is not exactly cheap and cheerful. But I'm curious, let me know which ones you guys are thinking of going with, or if you're just going to hold off and wait and see what the prices are like for not only the chips themselves, but obviously the motherboards and so on. Anyways guys, that is me done for this video, thank you so much for watching, as always do remember to give us a like and subscribe, does help out a great deal, and I'll see you next time, bye bye.